Hello everyone! You are thinking about studying abroad, but you have no idea where to start with looking for your perfect study abroad destination, then this video is the video to watch because today I want to share with you seven kind of guiding questions to help you choose your perfect study abroad destination. How far do I want to be away from home? Some people will answer this question by saying, I would feel um, better if it's not that far away from home because I would feel more comfortable to know that I'm not too far away from my parents just in case something happens. Other people would say, I want to study abroad destination that is more far away just because those are probably places that you won't be that likely to I guess travel to normally. What does my budget look like? That is referred to flights, for example. Do you even have the money to afford those long distance flights? Also, you have to look at the currency of the country. For example, for me, it is quite good to be studying abroad in the UK because of Brexit. So I get more pound for my euro. Then you also have to look at the cost of living. For example, if you want to study abroad in Switzerland, in the UK, Netherlands, it can be quite expensive in comparison to when you are thinking about studying abroad in, for example, a country in Asia or in South America. You also have to think about what do the tuition fees look like. Like if you have a large budget, you can study abroad in the US. If you can't, then you should probably think about studying abroad, for example, in a country like Germany, where education is free. What language is spoken in the country? If the language, like the national language of the country, is a foreign language for you, that can either be a critical factor to say yes, because you want to learn a new language or no because you don't feel confident enough to live in a country where you literally can't understand a word. What language um, are the courses in at uni? Just because the national language is a different language that does not mean that the courses are held in that language. For example, here in Germany, there are plenty, plenty of English courses. And also, when I get to study abroad in my third year, the courses are all held in English, no matter where I go. Might that be Asia or Denmark. Keep in mind, if the language that is spoken in that country is not your mother language, then you might need a language certification. What does the country's culture look like? or what culture do I want to live in? Am I able to handle a big cultural shock? For example, if I study abroad in the UK, it's not a big cultural shock in comparison to when I decide to study abroad in Singapore. Okay, and those last two questions depend on whether you are already in university and you are doing a semester abroad or whether you graduated from high school and doing your whole study studies abroad like I am. I am doing my whole bachelor's degree in Scotland. When you are already in uni and you want to do a semester abroad, obviously your choice already narrows down by looking at the universities, your um, home universities partners with. But if you're not already in uni and you're wanting to do a whole degree abroad, then what I would recommend to first off think about, hmm, who can I ask who, is, who has already done a study abroad? So for me, I chose Scotland because I knew someone who already studies there. And that gives you so much confidence and security. And it's always better to know someone who already studies there or who has at least experience and who can give you tips. So if you don't know anyone, then feel free to ask me. Please let me know any questions you have in the comments. And um, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Bye!